Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back with another review, and this is going to be the Blunt Derillo um, Quadruple Apple. I almost forgot the name of the flavor. Quadruple Apple flavor. So <laughs> let's get into this because I'm really excited. It's my first smoke of the day. It's 11 something. Actually, let's. let's... I don't know how, if you guys can see just how far that is. Like, that's a good fucking three centimeters. It is super, super sunny out. A beautiful day. <coughs> but, uh, yeah. Play some music. Oh, today's going to be a really nice day. It's not too cold out. I'm wearing a jacket because I don't want to get more sick. I'm already, I already got sniffles and I already know. I have these stupidest times when it comes to get, I can I can get anything else I can get like a like the flu and it'll it'll pass quicker than a, if I get a cold which is weird. Um, I'm I'm, a, I'm an odd specimen I guess as I would call it. So <laughs> now a couple things that was a big fucking cloud of smoke. A couple things I'm going to be taking note of is the taste throughout this because. One thing that I complained about the first time I smoked this, uh, the initial time that I tried to record it, and it just didn't turn out good. Uh, I was really disappointed because of the aftertaste that the blunt wrap left. One thing that I'm not tasting as much now is that aftertaste. So I'm going to leave it down to maybe that was just that one blunt wrap, maybe, I don't know, they over-saturated the flavoring. Um, if I'm not mistaken, they use juice from the fruits that you know that's what gives it the flavor because if you guys can see if i can get this thing to focus those ashes are pretty damn white if you ask me you know and that's usually a good sign of a blunt that was rolled well that it's not always a telltale sign of like a high quality blunt wrap but you know it's nice to see that very big full hits which I really like um, I haven't coughed yet which I'm very surprised about considering that was a pretty big hit at least for me um, yeah so I also this is the blunt that I did from the tutorial that I uploaded I believe it was earlier today or no yesterday it was yesterday I had two videos I uploaded this morning around 9 30 I think it was of if a convenience store grinder is worth the buy, or if you should just go and get a good quality grinder for your first time, if you are looking for a grinder, you know? Um, and that's that. Now, am I tasting the apple? Not really. Um, if I had to describe the taste, I don't think I did this with the strawberry one. Um, if I had to... Let me this music a bit. If I have to describe the taste, um, it's going to sound kind of weird the way I'm going to describe it, but I'm going to say, imagine if you were, it, it tastes kind of like warm applesauce. Like it tastes like apples, but it tastes warm. I don't know how to explain it otherwise. Um, it definitely seems to be burning very quickly, which I'm not happy about. Especially with the blunt, you want it to last you a lot longer than a joint. Now this one here, I probably fit about a gram and a half to two grams in it. I'm not really too sure. I don't weigh my weed out before I pack a blunt. Maybe I should start doing that. Um, <clears throat> if you guys want me to start doing that, let me know and I'll do. I'll go out and I'll buy a scale. Uh, simply to do that. But uh, yeah, that's literally why I haven't done this because I never really use scales. Because I know the people that I get my weed from and they usually wait in front of me or if it's from power plant i would assume they would not try to rip you off i'm trying to sell you a zip so that being said um beautiful day out today it's not cold um very soon you guys see the birds chirping i've been up since around i want to say seven i think i woke up at like 6 50 and um i went back to bed woke up around nine and i've just been up really since then So 
So, <coughs> excuse me. One thing I want to really take note of is how evenly this thing is burning. I really, really like when a blunt or a joint burns very evenly. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is. It just it's that sense, that, that, that feeling of accomplishment. I think when you roll a blunt and it rolls, sorry, it, and it burns evenly like this, and the ashes are white, and it just the weed is so full of flavor. Which this Gorilla Glue is still full of flavor after about a month of being in the herb guard. Um, a lot of you guys are asking me if the herb guard is, you know, if it's worth purchasing and what are my thoughts on it. Um, to give you guys like a quick recap, I'm going to do a full on uh, follow up because, you know, I said once I finish my ounce, I'll do a follow up. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that in the review. Um, and I'm almost done my ounce. So, that being said, um, one thing is that it does not, it, it doesn't like deplete the flavor. I don't know exactly how to explain it. Like the flavor is the same from when I first bought it now and uh honestly you know what it definitely does a great job that's i think one of the best things the two best things it does one is it keeps your weed fresh and two or sorry your herb um my nose is like mad itchy right now it's not the time for it to be itchy two <laughs> um it, it, it keeps the flavor, which is really nice, as well as it keeps the smelling. That's that's something. Um, I'm not sure exactly how it does it so well. I think there's some kind of like it feels like a, like a foam or of some sort. Um, I'm not sure, like some kind of like PU, like polyurethane or whatever, um, that they use as like a gasket or whatever you want to call it. What's that noise? <laughs> Um, to help the smell stay in the jar. I, to this day, I've never complained about my room smelling like weed because the herb guard didn't do its job when closed. Obviously, when you open the jar, all those smells just, oof, like right into your face. But it's like, you know what? I don't mind that. Um, one thing I do need to say is, if let's say you, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about it now. If let's say you, you know, like what I'm going to be doing when I re-up on my ounce, um, I'm trying to get my hands on strawberry cough. I know Power Plant has had it for a few weeks now, and I can't imagine that, you know, they would just run out of it within like, like two, three weeks. So, I believe they still have Gorilla Glue for 110. So, worst case, if I really have to, I'll just get more Gorilla Glue. I'm not really looking to do that. I want to try something else. It's not that I don't like the Gorilla Glue. I like the Gorilla Glue a lot. I'd recommend it, 10 out of 10, from where I got it, Power Plant. I'll link them down below. Um, unfortunately it's Canadian, or actually it's Ontario exclusive, not just, not only, like not across the country, I don't think, they only do within the province of Ontario, like the GTA. So I'm trying to find, uh, delivery services that'll deliver, deliver either across the province or even across the country, like if they have different locations across, the pro uh, in different provinces. Um. That, I think, might be stretching it a bit. I don't really know how many companies would really do that. But then again, you never know. Um, the smoke on this blunt is really nice. It's very smooth. It's a very thick smoke. Like you guys can see. Excuse me. When it comes to smoking it, the smoke is very thick, very full. Um, the terps from the weed, I'm tasting it. And I, that's the one thing I got to say about this Gorilla Glue. I'm really, really happy. Um, actually, if I'm thinking, <coughs> that cough came out really late. I don't remember if I mixed that black cherry in this because I'm kind of tasting it. It could also have just been the fact that I kept it in the same jar. I'm pretty sure now that I think about it, I might I might have mixed some black cherry. Um, yeah. So let me get this because the smoke is all on the camera. Um, it's definitely burning significantly faster than I think the zigzags did. 
like we're just standing on 10 minutes now and I'm about I would say maybe a little bit more than halfway done um yeah <laughs> now when it comes to I guess the overall the rolling experience with these I think honestly I'm getting pretty good at rolling blunts like I think to roll a blunt in under 15 minutes for me is a very very good thing a big deal um for a beginner, I think that's pretty good. Got a bit of weed in my mouth. Ew. Um, I'm actually surprised because the filter I rolled is pretty tight. Um, weed was chunky, as you guys saw in the review. Or sorry, the tour on high roll of blunt. Um... I would so far say out of 10, I would give this an 8, which is better than what it was the other day. I, I gave it like, an, like a 6 or a 5, because that aftertaste was just absolutely atrocious. And it just, it ruined the, the experience of smoking the blunt, because it, it, it actually really starts to overpower, to overpower the taste of the weed. Because, you know, you're taking a puff, and every puff, <coughs> excuse me. Every puff you take from the blunt, it's just like the, that taste stays there. And uh, I would constantly have to drink water to get rid of it. But this one, honestly, I'm not tasting that. So I'm really happy about that. Um, I'm really hoping that's just going to be like a one-off thing. It's not always going to be the first wrap. Um, and one thing I was reading on the packaging is the strawberry flavor as well. It was a quadruple wrap blunt. So... These, I believe, have four wraps as well. I'm trying to think. I had one. Yes, four, because it's got the core, which is a separate wrap. Um, very similar to these, I think, if not the same. Um, that one's very, very, very damp. It's not dry at all. So I might have to let that dry for a few minutes before rolling that one. But I'm just very happy with this one. I actually am. Taste isn't really there. I'm kind of... I don't know if I should really be disappointed that the taste isn't there. Um, I'm almost done the blunt. I don't know if you guys can see that too well. I'm trying to focus. It's almost done, but... I apologize about the overexposure. Again, like I mentioned, it's sunny. But, um... Overall smoking experience, I haven't coughed too much. Which, that, for me, is a very big issue, because... A lot of times with weed, I tend to cough a lot. Um, not as much as some friends that I have that cough, just... Honestly, sometimes I feel like they do it just to fuck with me. But, then again. I'm definitely hearing something. I'm not sure what it is. But... Yeah. Very smooth smoking experience. The smoke isn't getting hot yet, and I'm getting pretty close to the filter. Like, my filter starts right where the tip of my finger is. So you guys see I'm getting pretty close. So I, I would only imagine in the, in the next few puffs that it's going to get start to get a little bit hotter. Um, which it wouldn't be a bad thing. I'm very happy, very surprised that this is how it turned out. Um, I think this, I think I said, what, 8 before? I would give this a 9, honestly. To make this a 10, all I really want is maybe a little bit more flavor and for it to burn a bit smoother. Uh, sorry, slower. Um, it's nice if, let's say, you're smoking a blunt with your friends. You know, it's it's not going to take, like, half an hour. Uh, like, I think definitely compared to these to King Palms, I might just do that in, like, a video. Because I'm definitely thinking of picking, uh, definitely thinking of picking up more King Palms. But I'm going to wait till I get my zip, then get the King Palms, and from there... I might compare those to like a blunt like this because these my convenience store uh opt on a box i gotta ask her where she gets the box because i would definitely if i can get it for like 100 bucks i would definitely buy them from her um i don't remember how much i paid for the pack of these i think i just bought them impulse buying because i was just so surprised that she had a different flavor smoke is definitely starting to get a lot warmer Usually when it does that, I tend to just pinch and flatten my filters or my crutches. Um, I, I don't know what it is. I think now that the smoke is starting to get a little bit warmer, I'm tasting more of the apple. 
tastes pretty good actually for an apple flavored wrap. Um, take one more puff because I'm getting very damn close to that filter. Without a doubt, I would still recommend any GC blunt wrap. I do have the hemp wrap, you know, or the red zone hemp wraps. If you guys want me to do a review on that, I'm I, was, I was told a buddy of mine if he wants, he can have them. So if he doesn't want them, I'll do a review on those. But uh, he he loves them. I, I don't like the taste of them at all. Uh, for those of you guys who are wondering why I'm buying them, why I bought them if I don't like the taste, it's simply because I didn't realize. I had smoked the hemp wrap from GCG before, and it just happened to be these exact ones. And I didn't realize they were the same ones, and it just tasted so bad. I just, it tasted, I, I don't even know how to explain the taste, but it tastes, to be honest with you, at first I was actually digging the taste, and then it just leaves a really, really shitty aftertaste, which I've tended to find even with the Juicy J, like, papers. Um, that guy definitely ran a fucking stop sign. <laughs> but, um... Anyways, I'm going to wrap this up. So again, out of 10, I'd give this a 9. What would make it a 10 is for it to have burned slower and to have a little bit more flavor. Considering it's a flavored wrap. That's really the only reason why I'm bringing up that, that I would want it to have more flavor. Um, but yeah, until next time, if you guys are smoking with me, let me know what you guys are smoking with and smoking on. Um, if you guys want to see any uh, anything reviewed in the future, let me know in the comments section. You guys can also DM me on Instagram. Link will be in the description of every video. For not only this Instagram, but my main account on Instagram. As well as if you guys want to go and check out that YouTube, it's My Life in the Six. That's all you guys are going to type in the search bar. You guys will see me and my sexy looking self reviewing things like work boots. As work is a very big part of my life. I know it's a big stretch from what I do here. Um, but what can I say? Reviews are life. <laughs> it is, guys. Smoke on.